Good morning, folks. How are we doing? Hashtag MIM Day 24. Uh, now, for today's series of marching on the spot, um, you will need something like a resistance band. I've got this one here. Uh, you could use a scarf. A uh, scarf would work just as well, but make sure you find something that you can hold between both hands and it has a little bit of give, it needs a little bit of stretch. Okay, now before I go into this one, I want you guys to uh, check out the YouTube channel, all right? On that channel, you will find all of these videos that we've done to date. It's probably the easiest way for anyone to search back through and find a technique that they're comfortable with, that they can persistently do in the forthcoming weeks. Um, you'll also find loads of other videos on there, which, I mean, they are amazing. They are incredible uh, Oscar-winning performances and um, direction and production, obviously, from Andrew. Uh, but yeah, search your way through there. Click on the bell when you get to YouTube. Um, a lot of you might not even be registered as a user of YouTube. It's worth doing, okay? You are probably going to be going onto that channel a lot more, searching for things to occupy your time. Right. We're in the shoulder today. We're gonna to do a lot of work around the shoulder and with that, I want you to, to make sure the item that you use, the band or the scarf, gives you the flex so that you get the range, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate first what I'm gonna ask you to do. Slight pull on the band to take the arms up and then if you can, pull on it when you need to to take the arms all the way back, all right? So you're gonna be taking your arms up and all the way back and as you do that, you're still gonna be marching on the spot, okay? The importance of the flex, the give in the band, is so that your shoulders can travel that far. Now, if you find, as your arms go up, and you try and take them all the way back, that you can't pull on anything, you can't take them into that range, don't force it, okay? The last thing you want is to irritate the tendons in your shoulders and then not be able to go anywhere in order to sort it. Uh, if that does happen, Give me a shout, we can do a video consultation. I'm sure we can help you out with it anyway. All right, here we go. We're gonna go up into standing. We're putting five seconds up in the clock and we are going five, four, three, two, one. Off you go. So you take the band, take it back up over your head, pull all the way around and then bring it back over, okay? So if we get the legs moving at the same time. Try and make sure you still drive your knees up at the same time, it's really trying to stretch through your shoulder joints, okay? It's tricky because the shoulders become quite resistant to it, but I want you to keep working on pulling through your hands to allow the shoulders to travel, okay? So the legs are lifting high, the shoulders are rolling round. Try and find a rhythm. See if you can find a rhythm better than I can. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, this is tricky. All right, so the arms come up and back and the knees lift up. Band is floating over and show you from the side. Okay, so I'm sure from the side, the rhythm looks even better. That's it, keep working it. Keep lifting those knees. Keep driving it high. And rest. Good, now, taking the arms up, pulling them back behind the head, and if you can, Hold that position. Stretch across the front of your shoulders. Enjoy the openness in your chest rather than the roundness. Don't let your shoulders round off whilst you're at home, okay? And if you have got it, see if you can find a Corona special branded piece of exercise equipment. If you can't, more on that later.